Here's a way of making separate widgets for uh, text widgets, or I suppose you can affect the text in any kind of widget, but uh, I'm using text widgets here, and change the heading and text uh, within the widget. So uh, first you make a new page, and I give it a name. You don't have to put anything in it, because we're just going to add widgets to it, and I'll put a nav bar in it too. Then you go into the visual editor, and you add your um, widgets and give them names so that it means something in the custom CSS classes and in the block alias. So this will help you over here when you are actually uh, adding your text box to the widget block container. And this helps you when the live CSS editor because you now called it a class and you don't have to know that it's block number 27 and block number 28. Okay. So you get to there by clicking on show options for this block and then config fill these out and hit save okay now that you've done that you go over to your um, widgets area and um, you've got these two widget containers so you drag your text widgets into them and put some test text in there i put in a title i put in just a line of text that I'm going to try to affect by changing the font colors. And um, I also put in a paragraph with a class of blue. This should be blue. And likewise, in Test Widget 2, I put in a class of orange so I could play around with that and see if I can affect classes within a text widget, which, as it turns out, I can. Okay, so now that I've got these widgets there, I go ahead and I look at the page and I open up the uh, the source, I view the source and using the find I search for um, anything that says uh, my thing, test widget and there we have it there's test widget 2 so now I can kind of analyze this and find out aha this is what they're calling my widget title so in my custom CSS, I now know how to attack the title. So back to the visual editor. Let's go to the design mode. And call up the live CSS. And so there I have it. Test widget 1 is my class that I assigned it. Widget title is the class that it calls the title. So I just put those two in a row and start assigning characteristics. Uh, for the line height and for the color I had to put the bang important. Okay, exclamation mark important. Um, and uh, also for that paragraph style I put test widget 1 at p dot blue for that style that you saw that I placed here class blue okay same thing p dot orange for that one all right so between those two between being able to look at the source of the page and find out what the span class was for my title and uh, and I don't have to worry about the other and you'll notice um, it says it's a text widget but that's the basic stuff that you needed to know right there okay the widget title is the main thing you're changing and my class blue okay uh, it was already assigned by me okay I hope that's uh, very helpful as you can see the uh, actual result um, goes from that to that okay all right fantastic so that's how you do it and if you are trying to figure out what classes to use go to this site w3schools.com and use their search box up in here so you can look for like for instance line height and if you can't remember that it's line height it will tell you um, say you're trying to you know you can't remember if it's font height or whatever they'll help you okay so that's that should be enough for you to get going on those widgets